I've been watching this same clip on loop for the past three minutes, and I've come to the conclusion that Russell Westbrook just needs to be suspended indefinitely. Like, how do you let a man catch a body on national television and not issue some sort of punishment? Russ, come on, Thawne Maker was only 20 when you killed him. He had an entire future ahead of him. Kevin Garnett even said that he's a future MVP in the league. I mean, I don't believe that shit, but Kevin Garnett also said, Anything's possible! But now whenever I see Thawne Maker, I just see another Hashim Sabit, another seven foot center whose only good highlights are of them being posterized. He needs to just go ahead and change his name from Thawne to Thong because the way you got in his ass just brought so much discomfort. I've seen a lot of horror movies in my lifetime, but this is easily top five. I mean, he had me yelling at the screen trying to prevent him from danger. The good always die young. Switch and West has got the defensive assignment. Paul with the bounce. Ooh, boy, as a Rockets fan, y'all should have known I was going to do a video about this one. Hey, David West, what happened, dog? Chris Paul caught your ass slipping. Literally. Boy, he had your ass out there doing an electric slide harder than Jay-Z at his family gathering. For real, dog, CP3 broke you off like a price tag on a new shirt. This whole clip is actually hilarious when you think about it. Number one, why were you sticking CP3? You know damn well you can't keep up with him. Number two, how do you allow CP3 to bully you when you're 75 pounds heavier than him? That's bullcrap. Chris Paul pushed off. If Chris Paul pushed off, why wasn't David West crying for the foul? Exactly. Number three, we know that crossovers are often referred to as ankle breakers, but you literally hurt your ankle. And lastly, when I saw you turn around to see if Chris Paul made that shot, I know you were sick. Chris Paul looked at you like, boy, if you don't get your DMX, I'm slipping, I'm falling, I can't get up. Hit ass out of here. We took the L, but our ankle's good over here. Levine, he goes right. Oh! Oh my gosh, dog! Somebody please call that man an ambulance. Call the damn ambulance! Hey, yo, Jakar Sampson, I don't know what was going through your head, but don't you know that Zach Levine? Yeah, you know two-time NBA slam dunk champion Zach Levine? Come on, dog! You should have known you couldn't jump with him. Now, Jakar, we know that you came from the G League and you're trying to make a name for yourself. That's cool, but um, committing suicide on the basketball court isn't how you do it, dog. Imagine trying to jump with a player that did this in the dunk contest. You know you've been dunked on badly when you gotta watch the replay for yourself. The funniest part is when you push him after the dunk. Dog, your ass should've pushed him beforehand so you could've saved your own life on some Final Destination type s***. That boy Zach Levine saw your cornrows and saw you ain't had no hang time. He said, I got you, homie. Bam! It's funny because Zach Levine already had that number eight jersey. Now he got that bush to go with it. He out here looking like vintage Kobe. Man, the NBA got to rename the G League back to the D League because I thought G's did the banging. I ain't know they got banged on. <laughs> one on one here. Yeah, James. Lord our mercy. Somebody get Wesley Johnson an ankle brace, an ice pack, and a new identity because there's no way he's going to be able to live this down. Now, I don't know what's funnier about this video. The fact that James Harden paused after dropping Wesley Johnson or the fact that Wesley Johnson was sitting on the ground looking like he was reevaluating his entire basketball career. <laughs> like, dog, I don't know why the pause is so funny to me. At one point, I thought Wesley Johnson pulled the plug like he was losing online in NBA 2K. From court angle, oh. Hit that! Come on, Wesley. James Harden really had you out here looking like you was playing a game of Twister. Nah, better yet, he had you out here looking like you was doing the skating routine from Roll Bounce. Hit that! I don't know why, but this video reminds me of one of Snoop Dogg's classic songs. Not only did he drop you like it's hot, but he made you think about it. Take a second. And to the NBA, all jokes aside, if you're going to rob James Harden of the MVP award again, at least give this man the Sportsmanship Award, because he made sure Wesley Johnson was able to get up before he shot. LeBron sees a crowd. He Bruh, this does not make any sense. Now look, we all know that LeBron James is a freak of nature. The man is in his 15th season playing the same number of minutes as he did when he was 24, except he's producing at a higher rate. So why would anybody in their right mind think about jumping in front of LeBron James while he's attacking the rim with such force. I mean, that's like jumping in front of a bullet that wasn't meant for you. I mean, god damn, for a minute I thought I was watching Black Panther. Yusuf challenged the king to his throne, and he was left embarrassed and stripped of his pride. I accept a challenge. To be fair, Yusuf, you're 6'11", so we understand that your height may be intimidating. But 
your hops don't bring that same energy. I mean, LeBron had you looking frightened with your hands straight up like you were a victim during a heist. I bet before the game, LeBron was thinking, what better way to celebrate Throwback Thursday than to go back to my old ways? Oh yeah, and CJ, you know you dead wrong. We saw you pick up on LeBron and then you sprinted in the opposite direction looking like Day Day from Friday. Hit it! Hey yo, somebody need to teach Yusuf the Barbosa 360 so he can get out the way next time. It's only entertainment.